mother2mother.com. Let's take a look at the long-term monthly charts for McDonald's. This chart goes from 1980 to the current 2018 January market. This is a monthly chart. I'm going to break down this chart in terms of looking at this purely from the point of view of the RSI. Now, if you can just humor me for a second, if we assume that the RSI is also a measure of sentiment, you'll see something pretty cool. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to break this down in three parts. And the first part is going to be the bullish phase here, which corresponds with this movement here. And then, of course, there was a bearish phase from 2000 to about 2003 which corresponds with this phase here and then there's another phase which is now what we can determine here to be a bullish run and this goes again another phase of it which is here so I'm gonna zoom into each section so let's do that so what we have here is from 1980 to let's say about middle of 2000. Now, what do you notice here in terms of the RSI? And let's assume you're a big time money manager. You've owned this for many, many years, many years. I'll show you something pretty interesting. You can see that it never really drops below 50 on the monthly RSI, suggesting that this support around the RSI 50 was where a money manager would have been adding position support with uniform action around the RSI 50 again for a re-entry there. It kissed the RSI 50 level right there with uniform action which is this entry and same thing here same thing well we came close here right there. So that is where the best place to have added a chunk of position during those years. So that something that spanned about 20 years of data where the RSI did not drop below 50. Let's take a look at the next phase. In this phase we're taking a look at this from the highs here in early to late late 1999 to let's call it early 2003 so about three years. Now in this bearish period where we have this big drop in relative terms, you can see one main characteristic of this was a break below 50, rejection with uniform activity at the RSI 50 level, rejection at the RSI 50 level, rejection at the RSI 50 level. And then in early 2003, we move back above RSI 50 here, but we'll cover that in the other phase here shortly. Now let me take a second here and explain why it took three years for this to come from a bullish 20 years and then it took three years to reset. The reason is based on the ultimate more the breakout i'm going to include a link in the description now what this method calls for is for an instrument to start moving higher with power it needs to move its rsi to three year highs which is exactly what is happening here rsi is moving to three year highs and we need one of the macd's to be moving to three year highs and definitely at least one of the MACDs is moving to three year highs. And that is why it takes about three years after a major correction for an instrument to reset. And this is captured by the method I call the ultimate mother breakout. There should be a link in the description of the video. Right, let's take a look at what happened after this entry now that we have this breakout which is the minimum requirement for a powerful move and the breakout was here which is this period 
Now, since then, of course, we've gone on another multi, multi year run. And this is almost 15 years later. And you'll notice again, we go back. If you're a money manager, you like to pick your entries. This is a bounce back above RSI 50. Double bottom support here with uniform action for this re-entry zone and even here we come and touch the RSI 50 level for that re-entry. So if you use the RSI as a measure of sentiment that 50 line tends to be a good tell especially on a long term monthly charts how things are going to play out. Eric Mwadith, Mwadith .com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S.